Good afternoon. <clears throat> it's October 8th. Beautiful day. 20 degrees, sunny, not much wind, all colors. I'm going to take a long walk this time. I'm going to go over to the community gardens, which I've done before, but I'm not quite sure what path I'm following yet. I think I might walk all the way up to Pasqua Street and then over. It should be a pretty walk anyway. <laughs> It's Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada. Tomorrow is the actual holiday, but uh, most people have their, a lot of people have their special dinners and so forth today. We're not having turkey, but we're having a nice dinner tonight. Oh, it's really beautiful because there's not much wind. Even though it's a holiday, I still there's our first two dogs already, so it's definitely a doggy day. Um, still doing some publishing stuff. I've announced a couple of upcoming titles on Shadowpaw Press. I've got uh, one called uh, The Sunrunners, a young adult science fiction novel coming out next year. So I announced that one. And a picture book called The Wind in Amanda's Cello. Working on getting an illustrator for that right now. Still have one more new title to announce, which is uh, these crunchy leaves. No, that's not the title. Uh, <laughs> they are crunchy. Which is called Ashmi's Song, and it's a science fiction novel by Brad C. Anderson, whose uh, book Do a Tarot I republished. So this will be the first original title of his that I've published. There's also a uh, couple of new reprints coming up. Uh, James Bowe, who wrote The Sunrunners I just mentioned, has a book called The Night Girl, which I'm going to do a new edition of. And uh, Mark Morton, who wrote The Headmasters, which is one of the new titles I have coming out in January, has a book called... Uh, That's gone out of my head. Anyway, it's a kind of a glossary of culinary terms, which came out in the late 90s. This will be a new edition of that. So, all very exciting, I hope. Hopefully some of these books sell. That would be good. Hopefully I get some... Uh, grant money. Actually, which way do I want to go? Let's go this way today. I'm trying to keep it a little different than the ordinary walk along the creek. Could do the alley here. I very rarely go up here, and I think I can climb up the creek at the end. You can see people walking along the dike up there. Now, it's not the easiest way to get up on the dike, so I may regret this, but I think I can do it. It's quite bright, so I may have trouble seeing, unless I'm in the shade, I may have trouble seeing any comments anybody makes, but uh, please do say hello if you are so inclined and are watching this. See, there's an empty lot here. I tore this house down not too long ago. And uh, I've commented on the fact I don't think much of the what's on the poster up there, but we'll see what they actually build. <clears throat> Like I said, it's not really a path here, but it's not impossible. 
to climb. I mean, it is a path, but it's not steps like you get other places to go up the dike. <clears throat> My shoes don't come untied. That's always annoying. It's really warm. Even warmer than 20, I think, by now. the bridge <clears throat> not exactly over the bridge and through the woods but over the bridge anyway <laughs> We'll get off the bike path. Too many people. <laughs> Not really a fan of people. Or bicycles on sidewalks. Not a fan of that either. Now, my tentative plan walk straight down Regina Avenue, as if I were going to the airport, all the way to Pasqua Street, and go up Pasqua Street until I get to where the gardens are, and then come back by an alternate route. So this will be a long, straight walk up Regina Avenue here. This is straight toward the uh, airport, but I won't walk that far. Creek's over there, but my creek, I'll walk along the creek is usually on Mondays, so maybe we'll keep that for tomorrow. Also, it's shadier over here. So there's still lots of garden, but it's all looking a little tired. There has been a touch of frost. So I think flowers are somewhat faded or gone. And they've also been pulled out in places as well. Garnet Street, I used to live just down there on the other side of the creek on Garnet Street. Waterfall Park is over there, past those trees. Whew. Yeah, actually it's very warm in the sun. Lots of people over there in the park, looks like. Hello. One of the streets. I'm 
strip mall over here on the right. Somebody's moving in or moving out, it looks like. U Haul. I assume I'm still connected there. I accidentally uh, trying to adjust this a little bit, and maybe get a better horizon because it seems a bit out of whack. Hopefully that improves the situation, but at the moment it looks worse. What is going on there? Oops. Here, hold on one second. Well, maybe it'll sort itself out. It usually does. I get the feeling it's just not sitting quite right in the grip there. Not sure why. Anyway, sorry about that. Oh, maybe that's a little better now. I'm sure it's focused in the distance there. Still quite crooked. I can actually see that it's... I wonder if I should take it out of its case sometime. I wonder if it would actually work better if it wasn't in the plastic case. Well, I won't do that right now. If the horizon's a little crooked, please forgive me. Not that big a deal. Sure, it annoys me more than it annoys anybody else. Yeah, it's definitely not sitting properly in the in the grip somehow. Oh well, I'm going to have a new phone soon. This is one of the disappointing things. I wonder if I could turn it the other No, I couldn't because of the... One reason that it sometimes doesn't balance quite right is that the microphone requires it to have a receiver down on one end that makes it longer than it otherwise would be. So... Uh... I'm going to reset, so just hold on for a second here. It shouldn't go off, but if it does, I apologize. Well, I don't know if that will make any significant difference, but it looks better to me on this end. So hopefully that's, yeah, I think maybe it's, it's more level. Okay, that makes me happier. <laughs> it may not actually be significantly leveler, more level, leveler, but it looks uh, better to me looking at it from this side. So it may not affect the image much, but it appeals to my symmetrical nature. <laughs> okay. Now i got to move along to make up for the time I lost doing that. Continue on down Regina Avenue here. They have paved alleys here, which isn't always the case. No, they're building a house on the corner. That's what that bang was. I don't know if you heard it. It startled me, but it's uh, 
obviously a uh, nail railgun nailgun not a railgun railgun is a weapon in first person shooters there you go that was just an empty lot not that long ago when i walked by here and soon it'll be a new big new house living better starts here it says Looks like they're building it on the assumption they will then sell it to someone. It's a good size. And a big garage in the back too, two-car garage. So if you're looking to buy a brand new house, that one is currently being built. Complete with a porta potty in the back, but I don't think that'll be permanent. And still nobody has said hello. I know there's a couple of people watching anyway. Sheldon Williams Collegiate is over there. Oh, you can see Mosaic Stadium popping up where these Saskatchewan Rough Riders were embarrassed again last night in a football game. They've now lost five in a row. At this rate, they won't even make the playoffs. Fortunately, the two teams behind them in the playoffs haven't been doing all that great either, but worse than us, but still. We're coasting on the wins in the first part of the season, and there hasn't been one now for five games. I wasn't there last night. I was singing at a wedding reception a couple of songs. For someone I've met through writing, actually. I mentored her as a science fiction fantasy writer, and she also took a class I taught. I was Nice to be asked to sing, and I seem to make an impression, especially people I would have thought, after all these years, knew I sang. Someone came up to me and said, I didn't know you sang. <laughs> I've been singing in public in Regina for 35 years. Oh well. Now they know. They learned something. One of the songs I did as a joke song is uh, Me from Beauty and the Beast, which is the stage musical version. Gaston sings a song where he's, uh, you know, when he's asking Belle or telling Belle she's going to marry him. And it's all about how wonderful he is and how lucky she is to have him. So I sang that as kind of a joke. I sang it at our reception and said it was the way I proposed to Margaret Ann, which of course it wasn't, but it was very funny. This is a little nursing home here. I've been in it once. Uh, our neighbor lived to be old, more than 100, and we attended his 100th uh, birthday there. I don't know why these two people are just standing on the sidewalk there. A lot of apartment buildings down this way on that side, and then houses on this side. There's a Hindu or Sikh, not sure which. I think it's a Hindu school over there. Possibly a temple. I think it's Sikh. I've walked by it and looked it up a couple of times, but it goes out of my head. I know there's a Hindu temple. We might go by it today, further down. I can't remember which side of the where I'm headed to get to the gardens it is. It might be further down than I'm walking. I 
These trees are still hanging on to their leaves. They've uh, gotten pale, but it's still quite leafy. <clears throat> We have had frost, but not very severe frost and not very much of it. So things are uh, perhaps hanging on a bit longer than they sometimes do around here. back to houses again after that little run of apartment buildings. This is Pasqua Street, so we will turn... Is this Pasqua? Yeah, this is Pasqua. It has to be. There's a light. We will turn left here. But if you went straight on up, there's another light up there, which is the Louvain Drive, and then you go on past that and you're on the airport grounds. So walking to the airport for where I am now would probably be 20 minutes. So technically I could walk from home to the airport in 45 minutes or so, but pulling luggage, it would make it not a wise or likely thing to do, I suppose, in an emergency. For some reason, there were no Ubers to be had. This is a uh, senior's home here as well. <clears throat> Yeah, actually, I don't think we do go by any of the businesses, now if I think about it. We'll go by the uh, par 3 golf course that I sometimes walk through, uh, going this way. And then we'll be at the gardens, so I won't actually pass any of the uh, businesses that are further down Pasqua. Baseball diamonds to the right over here. And then again, airport, land, runways out beyond that. So this is kind of the edge of town. You're not really seeing under the prairie because there's a bit of a rise there, but... It's the same effect, no trees and flat. <laughs> Those are all airport buildings over there. <clears throat> Big yards on this side. Yeah, there's the airport. You can see the control tower there in the middle now. <clears throat> Oops, almost tripped. A lot of grass over here. <laughs> These yards are at least twice as deep as the one in front of our house. Almost big enough to justify a riding mower, which generally a house lawn doesn't. This one's for sale if you're looking. It looks nice too. Pasco is fairly busy, but uh, not horribly busy. Yeah, baseball diamonds over there. Now, see, that's what you do. You only have a little grass and then you cover the rest with rocks. I can understand the reason for that. This one has a wheelchair, so I assume it's some sort of group home. It doesn't have a sign, but it's clearly intended for, you know, probably a small group home for elderly people, I would think. They must have a dog. They're quite nice along here, actually, with the, they have big trees, so these houses have been here a while. This was probably the very edge of town at one point, except for the airport over there. I guess it is still the air. <laughs> it still is the edge of town, except for the airport. Oh, that was a silly thing to say. Uh, let's see. Which one is this? Grace Mennonite Church. Welcome fall with us. Our communion is pumpkin spice. <laughs> really? 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 I think that's a pumpkin spice too far, if you ask me. Anyway, Grace United Church there. 
it's a dove with the olive branch in its mouth, that emblem. Sign of peace, something we could certainly use in the world. Columbus Park over here. Columbus Day is not a holiday in Canada. Uh, that probably has more to do with the Knights of Columbus, I'm sure. Probably sponsored that park. I read a funny thing. It was like, uh, how do you celebrate Columbus Day? I don't know. Wander around and get lost looking. Run around the grocery store and get lost looking for spices. Which I thought was funny. This is a public green space. And then the golf course, which is a public golf course, city run, I believe. Um, part three comes up right after this. There's three or four big diamonds along here, so. Major baseball facility. Slow pitch is a thing. The only time I ever tried to play it, I couldn't hit the ball. Probably my poor depth perception. So I didn't have much fun with it. And I've never been a very good thrower, and I'm a lousy catcher, so you know. If you can't hit, you can't throw, and you can't catch. Playing baseball is a, a limited amusement value. There are people watching. Nobody has said, said boo to me yet today, but I, I know there's somebody out there. So hope you're enjoying this lovely autumnal stroll. Here we go, the Q par three. I actually played golf here in my morning of my wedding 26 years ago and a bit. Rained on us a little, but not too bad. And it's a par three, so you can get it around the course in about two hours. All 18 holes. I think it's 18 and not nine. If it's nine, you get around it in about an hour. I'd only be nine. I think it's too small to be 18. Maybe it is only a nine, nine hole par three. Now up here, we will have to uh, cross a bridge over the storm channel. The place over here where you can buy boats. There used to be a um, garden store, big few gardens. Thank you. I think they, anyway, just passed through where we always used to buy a Christmas tree, but they've moved out onto the Trans-Canada Highway. So we still got our Christmas tree there, but we go out, have to go much further afield. Not much, but certainly not as convenient, but it is a big, much bigger and nicer space for them. See? Boats. Boats on one side, golf course on the other. Not very busy. I saw somebody playing golf back there, but generally speaking, I'm not seeing anyone. Golf course is always pretty in the fall. When we got married 26 years ago, we had our photos taken out at the Wascana Country Club and there were nice yellow leaves in the ground and yellow leaves in the tree. Made for really pretty autumn pictures. Actually, the, where we had our picture taken isn't there anymore because they remodeled, but I think some of the trees in our picture were taken down. Here's the storm channel. A bit of water in it. We did have quite a bit of rain not too long ago. Performance Marine, that's what this is called if you're looking for a boat. Power boat. Okay, I'm going to go down and walk on the grass over here. This is where the uh, Lake Shore, Lake Shore Gardens? Lake, Lake Shore Gardens, I think, was. It looks like a train station, but it was never a train station. 
somebody walking on the other side over there. Because we're going to follow this storm channel now to the community gardens. It runs right beside them once we get past the next street and a bit further along. So we'll say goodbye to the edge of town. Oof. Unexpected. I should watch my feet a little bit. There are gopher holes and things along here, so I, I can't just look up the whole time like I'm prone to do. There's a golf gopher hole there I just went by that could have caught my foot. There's the Hindu temple right there. Oof, very rough. We'll go this way between these trees here. in the bushes. I heard it, but I didn't see it. Could have been a bird, could have been a rabbit. Say goodbye to the golf course now. Not sure what this station does, but pump something or generate something or something. The bridge over the, it's not the River Kwai, over the Wascana. Oh, the uh, rushes are quite tall down there, cattails. There's a bus stop here because of this group home over here, 16 years. Another senior's facility of some sort, or assisted living, or retirement, I don't know what they call it. There's a sign somewhere, but... And they have this nice yard out back here. We're going a little past that. There's a path right here. It takes us along the storm channel down to the community gardens. go. I walk a little slower on the rough ground than I do on a smooth pavement, I've noticed. How long has it been to here? Yeah, we're past half an hour, so this will be well over an hour walk by the time I get home. But that's okay. I didn't walk at all yesterday, except... Oh, here comes a dog. And an owner, presumably. We run the other way. Oh, and I'm getting unstable internet connection down here. It's gone again. Hopefully that was momentary. I'm expecting the gardens to largely be dug up. We'll know in a minute. Because the Well, yeah, they're largely, largely dug up. At least the vegetables are. that unstable connections thing again. Never seems to be any rhyme or reason to that. It can happen anywhere, in places you think it certainly wouldn't.
seems like I was just walking here in the spring waiting for things to come up and now I'm walking here in the winter and things are gone. Sunflowers have dried up. Corn has been harvested. The really tall ones here are sunflower stalks. They can get, well, as you can see, taller than me. So I'm 6'2". I'm holding the camera at about five feet. I mean, oh, sorry, uh, five and a half feet, maybe. And then there's the lovely uh, pagoda here, designed by our noted local artist, Sikansky. That's known for his ceramics, but he does a lot of with vegetables. He's a great gardener himself. Here's a good look at it. So the uprights are like branches and the roof is like a tree canopy. And then it has various vegetables around the bottom. <clears throat> Somebody working over there. Grow Regina is what this is called. Grow Regina Community Gardens. There's some others out um, close to the Ring Road, south and east of here. I walked through them not too long ago as well. <clears throat> See? Grow. Hello. Next time I come out here, it'll probably be covered in snow. This church over here is where I voted in the last federal election. That's where they set up our voting station. There's a birdhouse. These are for raised beds for things that need them over here. All gone. I'll go over here so we can go out through the main entrance past the Vic Sikansky sculptures that guard it. Well, Grow Regina has quit growing for another year. This is the orchard over here. These are all fruit trees. <clears throat> and then you have these sculptures of the man with the spade and the woman sewing things over here to mark the main entrance. So when you're coming in, that's what you see on either side. Grow Regina. Done growing for another year. We will go over, uh, which side do I want to walk on? Maybe to the path. Can walk on this side. Well, there are a bunch of people over there. Maybe I'll walk down here today and we'll cross at the footbridge further down. So again, Storm Channel. That's a park over there. we will be in momentarily. <clears throat> I'm really surprised. I know people are watching, but not a single person has said hello to me today. Is that something I said? <laughs> Everyone's just shy. Same dog again. This uh, path through there is actually like a alley. A lot of these Developments don't have alleys per se, but they have this green space between houses to provide access if required for <clears throat> power boxes and that sort of thing. They're interesting to walk down sometimes. There's some neighborhoods where they're quite fun to walk down if you don't mind wading through very tall grass. That one looked quite clear, but they're not all like that. We'll go up there and cross that footbridge when we come to it. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Well, I could just walk down the side because I don't walk all the way down this side very often. I usually am on the other side. I'll see a plane here in a minute. See the other side of the trees taking off. There she goes. Didn't get a good view of her. Thought we might, but not so much. 
Hello. It is. No wind, that's the best thing of all. Yeah, that's for sure. More interesting to cross this bridge than the one further up, so maybe I will cross this one. Otherwise, I'll be chasing that family up there. <laughs> well, not really, because I'd be walking, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean? I'll take the footbridge, and I can do a look at the uh, storm channel in both directions. My traditional thing to do when crossing bridges. lane leading out to the street there. Over the river and through the woods, but not to grandmother's house. My grandmother lived in Missouri, the one I remember the most. The other one lived in Oklahoma. She died when I was very little. One way, not much water down in this part of the storm channel. Okay, now decisions, decisions. Do I go look at the new school again? It's pretty much done, so maybe I will walk through the park this time and not go all the way down there. I wonder what the orange sign is for. Pathway closed, wonder why. October 15th to October 20th. Well, I don't know if could they be doing there. They'd close it. I'd have to walk over here just to find out. Hmm. A doggy disagreement over there. So instead of going all the way to the end, we'll go this way. There's a spray park over there, but it's not spraying. Playground, but nobody's playing on it. Oh, maybe there's somebody sitting there. Oh yeah, there's a kid on the up on the equipment. Self tower down there, and that's that new school that I've walked by many times that I think I will avoid today. Well, avoid's not the right word. Not like I'm scared of it. It's big, I'll say that for it. And the little old school that was there when I first started walking that way has been torn down. Well, that now seems complete. And presumably it has kids in it this year. I don't know that for sure, but I presume it does. Not today, of course, being Sunday. Playground. Oh, that house over there has uh, solar panels on the roof. So I th think shall we do here? What shall we do? I think I'll go down this street over here. So I think I've gone this way more often. I don't think I've gone down that street very often. I'll go by the house with the solar panels.
I don't even know what street this is. Is it? No. I don't think it's the one my we have friends that live on. I think that's another one down. It will take us up to oh, squirrel. Um Maybe that was it. Is that their house there? Might be. Maybe I am on the one. Now the squirrel goes the other way. Good friend of my daughter's when she was in growing up. Lived there, so we were there many times over the years, but once the we lost the kid connection, we don't uh, see each other nearly as often. Like at all. So it's, it's kinda sad. It's the way of the world. It's the circle of life. Oh, I have a red roof, metal roof. Remember somebody that used to walk on a treadmill while I was doing this and would walk with me and they always complained when I did things like that, but <laughs> I'm not doing it for a treadmill. Well, that's a big one. With pumpkins in front for Halloween. Whenever I look up and down, the horizon goes wonky for a minute. Yet I still think I prefer this setting. There is the other setting where you can, it'll follow your camera movement. And that's what I did before, but uh, I don't know. I, I kind of generally prefer this level all the time, but except when I do things like that, I think maybe that's not the best. But that's what I do. We will go, there's a crosswalk up there, so we will go up one more. I thought the next one was likely the one. No, Westgate. Yeah, that was my friend's house. I walked by back there. I didn't show it to you, but it, it was. We'll cross here. There's a car coming, but he's a long way away. A lot of uh, apartment buildings here. I walk down the alley here instead of down the front for a change. Not very exciting. I don't think I will. <clears throat> it's an unattractive apartment building. It's just a box. It has a flat roof. It's literally just a box. All right, we'll go down this way now and work our way over to the bridge. There's a school zone up here. Is there a school? Did they tear down the school? Let's go look. I think they, I think, Torn something down. It must be the school I used to walk by down here. Especially with the school zone there showing. It's amazing how things can change. Is that the school and the church both both torn down? Or am I in a different place than I think I am? Huh. Did not see that coming. The church is still there. So there's the church. And this was a Catholic school that has been torn down. I don't know if they're building a new one here or what's going here. Look at that. Fairly recently too, because it hasn't been cleared away. It was Ecole Saint Pius, Saint Pius. 
And now it's a pile of rubble. Well, that is a surprise. I had no idea they were tearing this school down. But I guess I probably haven't walked by it this fall. Clearly they moved the students somewhere else, so. Huh. Old students of the school are probably find this really sad. I mean, both of my schools are gone, but that I grew up going to. Even the one where I lived, the place where I lived is gone because torn down and houses put in out at uh, North Weyburn, which is where the Commonwealth Air Training Command base was during the Second World War, was where the school, Western Christian College, that my dad brought us up here to when he uh, he taught there, and that's what brought us to Canada. Because I'm an immigrant. Nobody ever thinks of people who came up from Texas to Canada as immigrants, but I'm a first-generation immigrant. And there's Quite a bit of culture shock coming from Texas to Canada, let me tell you. Maybe not quite the same as coming somewhere where you don't speak English, but Canada was a strange, weird, and not a place I liked very much when I was brought up here as a kid. But I got over it because I've been here ever since. I got bullied a bit, made fun of because of my accent, and I was bad at sports, and I was smarter, but probably everybody else in my class, he said modestly. I did skip a grade, so I was a year younger than everybody in a bit. Talked funny. Read a lot. All the things that endear you to your hockey playing normal, quote unquote, Canadian classmates. Anyway, I'm not bitter. <laughs> it may sound like, but I'm really not. It's a long time ago. Uh, let's go down the alley here. I don't think I've ever walked down this bit of the alley. By the schoolyard. I guess it's still a schoolyard, even though the school has been torn down. Usually that means they're going to build a brand new one. I wonder where they sent the kids, though. Because clearly... It could be at least next, it'll be at least next fall before they could open that, and it might be another year after that if they're building a new one there. Oof, oof. Dogs don't like it when you walk down the back alleys. They don't like it when they hear you talking either. Oof, oof. <clears throat> Maybe I'll focus on alleys on this block back towards the bridge. Why not? So that's Hill Avenue there. We have to cross it somewhere and it's fairly busy, so maybe I will cross it here at the corner. Duck. It's a nice yellow leaves. So yeah, it's a nice house. I like that one. It's nice from the direction, framed by the two colors of trees. We'll go up here to an alley to continue my alley walk. That make me an alley cat. Wow. I talk to myself. Is anyone listening to me? <sighs> this will be an alley. Let's take it. Small plane going over.
Looks like there's already a site out of here. So I guess we'll take it too, but maybe cross to the alley on the other side. It should connect. Yes, it does. It's been showing at least a couple of people walking all the way today, but nobody has said anything to me. Or either that or I've managed to turn off the managed to turn off the uh, chat, which I could have because I had my fingers in strange places on the screen earlier. So maybe you're talking to me and I can't see it. In which case, sorry about that. It's kind of a nice door there on that one. Do I carry on? No, I think we go over another street and find another alley. Is that Albert Street up there already? I might end up on Albert Street to cross the bridge. I believe it's open again. It's closed for a while. Oh, this is Retalic, so I've already gone past the bridge. Maybe I do go all the way to Albert on this walk. Again, these streets have these big gold trees that arch over top and turn them into tunnels, which is really cool. There's a uh, mystery writer, Gail Bowen, very well-known Canadian author, who, oh, scroll over there, who uh, lives summer over here, and uh, I took a picture of her standing on one of these streets in the winter with the, the branches arching overhead, and she used it as an author photo in one of her books, which was cool. Oh, there's somebody saying hi. Hello, Jeff in Montreal. Well, I'm not Will. I'm Willet. It's my last name. I'm Ed. <laughs> Although, to be fair, my grandfather, who had the same initials, only his name was Ewan Chambers Willet, and mine is Edward Chain Willet. Um, didn't want to be called Ewan, so he either went by E.C. or Bill. So he did take the last name and turn it into a diminutive, but I never have. Never been a Ted either. I was an Eddie growing up, and even when I started working at the newspaper, I was signing my, my byline was Eddie Willett. And then decided that I needed to be older. It's all right, it gave me something to talk about. <laughs> and uh, that's when I started using Edward, and I've used Edward ever since, except when I wrote books under a suit and, oh, more squirrels. Let's go down this alley. Um, and I've also been E.C. Blake, which at least was my initials. Blake is my nephew's middle name, Tori Blake Willett. And my other pseudonym is Lee Arthur Chain, which are the two are the middle names of my two older brothers and myself, Jimmy Lee Willett, Dwight Arthur Willett, and Edward Chain Willett. And I also wrote a book as Adam Blade. It's a house name, which is the name that's used for books that are written by multiple authors that have the same name on it. So like Nancy Drew is written by a house name, the Hardy Boys. In those cases, they were real people at one point, I think, but... Uh, in the case of Adam Blade, he never existed and never will. He's just a name that a bunch of people write under for the Beast Wars children's fantasy books. One of which I wrote. Ooh, they got some nice red there in that house. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to end up on Albert Street. This is McCallum already, so... 
Oh, and there's the sometimes called the dollhouse, that little white one with the pink shutters. It was built by an architect for his daughter and is kind of a landmark. I'd love to see what it's like inside, but I've never been inside it. It was in my book, Historic Walks of Regina and Moose If I had more hands, I would recreate those walks and, you know, read about the houses as I came to them. It'd be a long, be a long video. I'd probably have to do it in sections because the battery wouldn't last long enough to do it all in one. That's a new house there. Big front door complex there. <laughs> Very grand. But uh, it'd be interesting. Some of what was in that that book has been torn down. And I always like to point out that most of the research I drew from the Heritage Regina existing walks, but they didn't seem to mind. And I did win a City of Regina uh, Heritage Award for that book. That's actually a group home. It never was. I may have been a single family home once upon a time. But It's been many things since then, but generally either a group home or multiple apartments. Big house, anyway. I don't know what it is right now, if it's multiple apartments or what. I think we're on, we must be on Angus now, so. I'll stay on this until we get down to Regina Avenue, and then we'll cross the bridge, which I think is Albert Street Bridge, if it's open. Oof. Now watch out for those unexpected places where the tree roots have pushed up the uh, sidewalk. I like this neighborhood, make few. Mostly all these old houses. There's not a lot of infill houses, and they've mostly been well kept up over the years. You can tell some are a little newer than others. Like that's certainly not the same era as the older houses, but by this point, it's probably getting there. <clears throat> there are a few new ones, but. Uh... Oh, pussy cat. Meow. 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 You must belong to some house around here. You be careful out here in the street. Clearly not a stray or he wouldn't come up to you like that. I like that house too, it's just very nice. Symmetrical, remember I like symmetry, as I mentioned earlier. This is another nice one here. I think there's one more alley we can go down here without actually going over to Albert Street. Legislative building is just over there. We'll see it briefly as we turn the corner. Oh, and fall down. There it is over there. But I'm doing an alley again, which will take us, I think, right up to Regina Avenue. So, and then that is where the bridge is. And it's over Wascana Creek and the dam that forms Wascana Lake. And we're practically home at that point. Well, I am, I don't know where you are. Oof, oof, see, like I said, dogs hate it when they hear somebody in the back alley. I've never had an unfriendly encounter with a dog, but I've been barked at many times. 
there are dogs that I'm glad they're on the other side of the fence, that's for sure. the backs of people's houses now. And again, now we're on Regina Avenue, which again, if you go to the left, takes a straight run out to the Regina International Airport. Could walk there from here in half an hour, maybe 45 minutes. Albert Street is the busy street right over there. We'll go up to the corner to cross over to the bridge, which I hope is open to pedestrian traffic again. It's, the road is, so I assume the foot part is as well. I've been in this house and it's for sale. It's a nice house, all one level. I could jaywalk, but it's probably not safe, so I guess I won't. Yeah, so it's, it's a really nice house and it's, uh, as I said, it's big, but it's all one level. In LA, we lived there, or she's in MLA now. When we saw her, we were there for a Christmas party, I think. She wasn't in MLA. But... And there's the lake. Oh, I've still got a walk sign here, so let's take it. Albert oh, Street Bridge. It's flying. Oh, it's flying. Uh, green flags with number 34 on it. George Reed, who was a running back for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, moved up here from the States in the 60s and played for the Riders. And I mean, that's when I was started watching football. He'd already been playing for a few years. Ron Lancaster was the quarterback, number 23. He was number 34. And one of the all-time leading rushers, maybe still the one in the league. He just died at the age of 83. So at the game last night, they had a tribute. Again, I missed it because I was singing at a wedding. But that's why it says, they have these green flags with number 34 on them up there. Came up here, he stayed. Lived in Regina after he moved up here to play. His whole career was at the, the Rough Riders and uh, he was a fixture. He's, in fact, we saw him at the game, I think the uh, Labor Day Classic Last game we were out, I think he was there in a wheelchair watching the game, so. Last guy. <laughs> I did hear, though, that uh, when he first drove up here to play in the 60s, he drove right past Regina, thinking it couldn't be the city he was looking for because it was too small. Back then, it would have been half the size it is now. It's not all that huge now. All right, there's the creek again. And uh, the dam that makes the lake is right under this bridge. Lake's over there, of course. There's the legislative building again. These nice terracotta uh, ballast, ballasters, balustrade? Yeah, balustrade. And there's the provincial crest on that one. And then there are bison on these. There's a sinkhole over there that opened up and it also opened up over on this side in somebody's backyard here. So for a while, the bridge was down to two lanes and it seemed to be mostly because of work they were doing over on this side. But I don't know if we'll be able to see anything, which backyard it was. Couldn't have been that one. the next one up here. Yeah, so down there it was all torn up and it looks like they straightened that up now. But over there, there's still a big hole. So they seem to have lined with concrete and it has pumps in it. And I don't know what the uh, long-term remediation process is there. Hi, hey, Tiffany. It is a beautiful day. 
That's why I've done a long walk. I'm at an hour and 11 minutes, so it'll be over an hour and 15 minutes by the time I get back. Not that I'm very far now. Big spruce here. Nice house, though. I'd like to be in it. I know who owns it, but I've never been in it. Dead end, no thoroughfare, and you've got the skeleton right there. That's kind of ironic. <laughs> Interested to see what this looks like on Halloween night. I'm sure there's some lighting effects will be going on here as well. Great skeleton. Should be a popular trick or treat destination in a few weeks. I'll be out on Halloween night, I hope. I've done it the last couple of years. Take a nighttime walk around with the trick-or-treaters, look at the decorations and all the spooky goings on. Hopefully it's nice and not snowing or freezing cold. Halloween is one of those things as a kid. Sometimes it was fine. You could wear your nice costume. Sometimes it was a parka and a mask because it was just too cold to do much of anything else, unless you could wear your costume over your winter coat. I think this year, as a leaf flutters by, as if on cue, I think this year we're likely to have fairly nice weather from the long-range forecast, but it's still a little early to be sure it could change. Change on a dime, as they say. What they're doing in there, I've passed a work trailer several times now here. Okay. Up the alley toward Devon School there. And halfway around the crescent, and I'm home. Although maybe, just to continue my alley walking, I should take the alley here. It's a little out of the way, but not much. Our alley, on the other side of the crescent, is paved because school buses use it. going that way. Some weirdo digging through people's recycling. So we will stick to the, the road more traveled instead of the road less traveled. Whew. Well, I'm about ready for this to be over. It's been a warm walk for sure. Twig almost got me. Right, so I will stop here. 
Thanks for walking with me. Hope you enjoyed that lovely autumn stroll to the Grow Regina Community Gardens. And uh, I should be back tomorrow with my usual walk along the creek in some fashion, I expect. Although it is a holiday, so who knows, maybe I'll sleep in. Bye for now.